In this video, we are going to cover how to reduce input delay of your mouse and keyboard in Fortnite on your any PC or laptop. This video is going to be about some advanced tweaks of your Windows which help you to reducing the latency in Fortnite. So guys, make sure to watch my this whole video and with wasting any time, let's dive straight into it. So guys, in the very first step, we are going to configure the mouse data queue settings in our Windows registry. So guys, for that, go for your Windows search and search for registry editor and make sure to run this as administrator. So once you are here in the registry editor, now you need to follow the simple path. That is, first of all, go for HK local machine, then go for system, then go for current control set. After that, go for the services settings. Or guy, by the way, you can also copy the same exact path of its location from the description of my this video, or simply uh, follow my this path. So, guys, go into service, then scroll down, and there you will find out more class. So, guys, select any of these uh, files and press M from your keyboard. It will take you into these M categories, and there you will find out the more class. Folder. Now you need to go for the drop down and go for the parameter and there you will find out mouse data queue size. Now right click here, go for modify and you need to change here the settings of the value data uh, from 1E to 30. After that, set the base onto the hexadecimal and hit yes. So guys, that's it. Now you need to change here this value and this will help you to reduce the input delay of your mouse. So guys, now the next step, you need to download the timer resolution and filter key setter application on your desktop. Link available down in the description. Simply join my Discord server that will take you here. So now go into the download tab. Now after that, go for the search bar and search here input delay. And there you will find that reduce Fortnite input delay on PC optimization pack. Click on this download button and download these both files on your PC. Once you download these files on your PC, now you need to extract it one by one on your desktop. Simply right click here and click on the extract here and hit yes to all. Now go for the next file, right click here, go for extract here. So guys, here we got our timer resolution and filter key setter.exe file. So guys, you need to first of all go for timer resolution and guys simply set the settings on to the maximum. I'm also using ISLC, that is also the same thing, but time resolution is simple and basic. So guys, you need to go for the maximum button and that will reduce your uh, the current resolution delay on 0.500 milliseconds. So guys, once you set up these settings on the maximum, now simply minimize this application before launching the Fortnite every time. Now go for the next application that is filter key setter so right click here and make sure to run this as administrator so guys once you get this kind of the interface of the filter key setter so in the very first step you need to go for this flag settings and turn on the settings from here then check mark on the available and uncheck the use shortcut option now uncheck activation sound uncheck show status and uncheck the key clicks from here after that check mark onto the save to registry settings and check mark on this box now go for the main settings of this application that is about the delay of your keyboard now go for the settings and now here set it onto the ignore quick keystroke and or set the repeat rate so go for the ignore under and set the settings onto the 0 ms go for repeat delay and set it onto the 250 ms now go for repeat rate and set it onto the 50 ms after you have applied the same values into the settings now you need to go for this okay but so guys now the next step we are going to configure some settings in our windows so guys first of all go for your window search and search for keyboard and open up keyboard control panel settings now increase the repeat delay and repeat rate onto the short and fast and set the cursor blink rate onto the fast now the next step guys we are going to clear all the temporary files of our windows so guys simply go for your window search and search for temporary and there you will find out in the temporary file Go for the settings and there you will find out your local disk C. So on the very first step, uncheck the storage box from here. Now here you will find out your uh, local disk C, all the application features, temporary files. So go for the temporary files option. Now here you will find out this download folder. After that, here you will find out the recycle bin data. Then here is the devices driver package, then thumbnail, temporary internet file, directory shadow cache, then temporary files. And then here is the Microsoft Defender antivirus and delivery optimization file. Also check mark on this box. Make sure first of all check your download folder. If you not have any important data in your uh, download folder, so check mark here on this box. Otherwise simply uncheck or untick this box from here. Now here is our recycle bin. Check mark on the recycle bin also for deleting all the deleted data permanently from your PC. Now go for the remove files option and click here and this will start deleting all the files from your recycle bin, your device driver packages, your thumbnail, your temporary internet file, then direct shadow caches, temporary files and microsoft defender and the delivery optimization files so guys once you're done now you need to simply close out the settings on the final and the last step we are going to configure our monitor settings on the maximum refresh rate and that will also reduce the latency and response time of our monitor and also our uh, mouse and keyboard so guys you need to right click on your desktop and go straight into the display settings after that scroll down go for graphic settings first of all and turn on the settings which is hardware accelerated gp scheduling here it is mentioned it will reduce latency and improve your performance so therefore make sure to turn on the settings now go back 
Now go for the advanced settings. There you will find that refresh rate of your monitor. So I'm using right now two displays. Here's my uh, secondary monitor for the editing and here is my primary monitor for the gaming. So I will go with it. This is 240Hz monitor. Now you need to go for the refresh rate and set this rate onto the maximum supported by your monitor. So simply select here this refresh rate and apply the settings and close out it. And now you need to one time restart your PC there for all the changes to take effect. Now launch your Fortnite and enjoy the Fortnite without having any input lag. So guys, I hope you love this video. Please make sure to drop a like, subscribe to my channel and till that the next video. Peace out.